Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm going to start off by thinking at the moment it's a really weird time to be in business. And I've got to say, it's, it was quite stressful to start with. And this is my second week that I'm actually, basically, it feels like I should be out of work. But in my head, I'm not out of work really. In my head, I'm still at work. But it's weird because when you work non-stop, 24-7, it's hard to just switch off. So I've done a YouTube video and put it on Facebook. And then everybody was saying to me, Steve, but mate, it's all right you doing your recipes, but we ain't got any flour. I thought, oh, I've got a shed of flour in the bakery. Anyway, it come to me. I thought, oh, well, let's just open the door and start bagging up flour. And see how we get on from there. And I couldn't believe the big response we've had of people coming down to the bakery buying, it could be a kilogram or 16 kilograms of flour. I've had to restock up again. And obviously yeast sales are well up. You know, it's only a small little bakery in the very bottom end of town, but obviously you've got to walk to it and it's really hidden out the way. Hence why bakeries are not really sort of a place actually on high street they usually sat on some trading estate hidden away from everybody else but it's just like the old days you open the door up and you let everyone in unfortunately you open the door up and you let a person in and we've sort of gone from there which is great but whilst i've weighed up all the flour the wife's selling the flour i thought in the meantime i've decided to knock up a loaf of bread so in today's video and um, basically i've took a half a kilogram of flour I've thrown it all in. Anyway, please subscribe and please share, and we'll get on with the video. The recipe is under the video in the description. Right, we first start off by grating frozen yeast in, because if you've got a yeast from me, it's already been frozen. Add in your water, then give this a good whisk round. Bear this in mind, this is fresh yeast, so it's more active than dry yeast. Right, simply add your salt into your flour and just give it a good mix round. Now all we're going to do now is just chuck that straight into the yeast and water. Right now get your hook and give that a good stir around. It's as simple as this. Just you can make it into like a bit of a dough form. That's it. Right now we'll fit that back onto the machine. And for this Kenwood mixer, I've set it on first speed for one minute. Let that mix around for a bit. Now we're gonna give it a good scrape down. It's important. Uh, I just make sure everything off the bowl and all mixed in nicely. See if you've got any of the yeast or anything, or anything left on the side, shouldn't be, but. Right then, we'll now pop this onto second speed. And now we're gonna be mixing this up for around about five to six minutes. Now part way through, we're gonna be stopping it and scraping down again. And you can do this a couple of times whilst in that five minutes. So just make sure the dough is actually stuck to the bottom of the bowl and not just going round and round, holding on to the hook. Right, whilst it's spinning. Now, if you've got a spray oil, 
you can just spray round the bowl. That's just to loosen the dough. Right, and all we're going to do now is take it off the machine and transfer it into a plastic bowl. Right, there we have it. And what we're going to do now is cover that over with cling film. And you're now going to rest this so it doubles its size. Now at this stage, depending on the temperature, it could take one to one and a half hours to prove. And we just leave it there. This is around about one and a half hours later. Now we're going to give that a good knock back. Once you've knocked this back, just re-wrap it back up and leave it for around about 10 to 20 minutes just to recover. Now after 10 to 20 minutes, just take it out and you're now ready to use it. Right, in this case, what I'm going to do is mould it into a bloomer loaf. That's it. And now I'm going to put it onto a piece of uh, baking pa parchment. Now, interesting enough, what I've done is I've put it into a bowl with a lid. So once you pop the lid on, you then find somewhere nice and warm and just leave it to prove up on its own. It's now proved up and I've now transferred it into a tin. Now I'm just cutting the top prior to putting the oven. Once I've cut it, I'm leaving this out for around about five minutes. I've already preheated the oven. We're gonna pop some ice into the bottom of the oven and now we're gonna pop him into the oven. The ice is actually underneath in another tray and you bake this for around about 25 to 30 minutes in an oven at around about 420 Fahrenheit. And after 25 to 30 minutes, you've got a loaf and there she is. Now I'm gonna chop her up. It's war, it, bear this in mind, this is cooled down for around about one to two hours. So you guys can have a look inside and see what she's like. And that's got a beautiful crust on it. There you go, and it tastes absolutely delicious. There it is. There's nothing to it. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It's just a simple thing I've knocked up for you guys just to show you how simple bacon is. And that's just a simple loaf of bread knocked up with no actual energy used in the brain. I know someone said to me earlier today, Steve, you're a baker, but I'm not using the bakery in this one. I'm actually using a small little Kenwood mixer. I'm showing you as it would be you guys at home. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible because sometimes recipes, you follow them along and you really don't understand. Uh, in, in one respect, that flour I'm using is just a flour you can just buy from my bakery. It's just straightforward baker's flour and it's not anything unusual. It's no fancy organic stuff. It's just straightforward baker's flour. I'm going to be selling you identically the same thing as I use. Also, the yeast is the same. So you're going to get the same loaf as I got. Okay, um, I'll let you in for a secret. I proved the loaf up in the back of my transit van. Yeah, I know. I know what you're thinking. I didn't bother to waste time once it was in that plastic container. Back of the transit was lovely and warm. It's the right temperature to prove up. So you can prove up anywhere. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and please share. Do check out my Traditional Bakery Facebook page. We'll see you again shortly. And keep safe. Laters! <laughs>